Praise the Lord. Today is our Holy Communion Day. And I am glad that we are all here present. It is Holy Communion and uh, I want you to get your bread, your wine, and your oil. I have my here with the ministers that are here present with me. Today is Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper, the meal that heals, the meal that heals to the marrow of the bone is the Lord's Supper. It is a covenant, as I have always said, a covenant of relationship between human and Jesus Christ. It is our relationship. We all know that at the cross of Calvary, he went to the cross. He died. He shed his blood. His blood poured out to pour into you for life. So it is the meal that heals. And the Bible says, as often as, she, as ye do this, we do it in his remembrance. Hallelujah. We do this today to strengthen our relationship. And the theme of this month is focus on Christ for divine strength and healing. And that is why we have come together to his table, not my table, but his table. And because it is his table, you are free to partake. If you know you have given your life to Christ. Hallelujah. Today we are doing this because the theme of this month, as I, as I said, is focus on Christ for divine strength. We know that we are passing through challenges now. This is challenging time. And our scripture says that we as the children of God, there is nothing that will shake us or move us. It should not shake us or move us. It is Holy Communion, the meal that is, the meal that gives life. The meal that strengthens. The meal that heals to the marrow of the bone. So if you, if you don't have your wine, please go get it ready. Get your oil ready and get your bread ready. This is our time with God. It is to strengthen our relationship with him. Like as I said before, when he died at the cross of Calvary, his blood poured out into you that you may have life and have that life in abundance. Hallelujah. We do this as often. The Bible says, as often as she do this, you do it in remembrance of me. So we are doing this today to strengthen our lives and strengthen our relationship with him and to heal us of all heartaches, heart problem, grief, sorrow, and above all, to make us stand in him in line with the word of God. Hallelujah. You focus on him for divine strength and divine healing. And the, the scripture reading is from Psalm 46 verse 1. He says here, yeah, God is our refuge and strength. A present help in time of challenges. A present help in time of problems. A present help in time of sorrow. We are facing some challenges, as I said, but we need to come together 
as a family to the table of God. The second uh, scripture says in Luke 6, 19, I'm paraphrasing it. He said, seeking a touch of healing in times of challenges and in times of calamities. Seeking a touch of healing. That is why we are here today. For him to give us a touch, a touch that makes a difference. The third scripture is from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. He says here, in times of challenges, he will ease and release a freshness to our souls. In times of challenges, he will release ease and give us strength to refresh our souls. For his yoke is easy and his burden is light. His burden is not pressing. His body is comfortable. His burden is gracious and his burden is pleasant. That's why we need to come together for his release upon us. The one that is not harsh, but comforting. The one that is gracious and the one that is pleasant. That is why we are coming together. That is why God gave us the theme for this month. Focus on Christ for a divine strength and divine healing. I am very, very sure that God is always here for us to do us good. As I told you, was it yesterday, that the temptation and the grief that comes on anyone is not out of the blues. It is common to man. And God is a faithful father. He is faithful and he will give us the strength. He will release upon us that which is comfortable. He will release upon us that which is gracious. He will release upon us that which is pleasant. That is why we are coming together. So that we can be strengthened together. So that we can also heal together. That is why God is telling us to have this Holy Communion or the Lost Supper, the meal that heals. Hallelujah. The Bible said here in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24, he says here, no, verse 20 says, And when ye come together into a place, and this is not to eat our own meals, but to eat the Lord's Supper. Verse 24, he says here, And when he had given thanks, this was just before Jesus was crucified, he called his disciples together. The Bible said here, And when he had given thanks, he broke the bread and said, Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You know, I said before, we are doing this now in remembrance of him and also to strengthen us and heal us because it is the meal that heals. The Bible said, and he took the bread. I hope you have your wine, your Oil and your bread. The Bible said, and Jesus took up the bread and gave thanks. Our God and our Father, 
I thank you that an opportunity has come for us again to strengthen our relationship with you and to strengthen one another and to strengthen our lives in you for this meal that heals. I pray everlasting Father as many as shall eat of this meal today that you heal our hearts totally. A house of brokenness. A house of grief. A house, oh God, to worship you. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that as we eat, you help us to relate with you as never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said, and he took the bread, he gave thanks just as I have done so. And he broke the bread. This is the bread, the meal that heals. The meal that heals. And I want you in your own home, pick up the bread and I want you to break it. As I have broken it here, I want to give it to, I'm going to take mine and I'm going to ask the ministers that are here with me to, to serve, to serve everyone here with me. Break the bread, take a piece of it in your hand and give to your wife your children, your household that are there with you. And I want you to begin to pray. I want you to pray and say, God, as I'm holding your body, I don't understand it, but this is what the Bible says. And I believe the word of God and I, I believe the Bible. This is the body of Christ. Hold it. And I want you to pray. Whatever you are going through, if you are going through sorrow, ask God to give you healing. If you are going through pain, ask God to heal you. For this is the reason why he went to the cross. If you, are, if you have a, a pain in your body, if you are sick, Whatever ailment that you have, there is no ailment that the blood of Jesus and the body of Christ cannot heal. This is why we are here. Lord, I thank you. I am holding the misery in my hand. This is bread. But Lord, you said when we come together, it is no longer bread. It is your body. I ask, oh God, as I eat, that you heal from my head to the soles of my feet in the name of Jesus. And as many, oh God, as are holding the ass in their hand, oh God, and as they have spoken to you, be it unto them according to their faith. Lord, we thank you. There is healing that flows from Calvary. I decree your power, your healing virtue to flow right now into the bodies of everyone that is holding this body of Christ. I decree your healing power upon each and every one from their head to the soles of their feet. I decree the supernatural healing in the name of Jesus. Whatever ailment it is, O oh God, name it. Whatever ailment it is, everlasting Father, be it headache, be it nose pain, eye pain, ear pain, throat pain, chest pain. You cannot breathe. Stomach pain, leg pain, whatever pain it is, oh God, even to the finger pain. We believe that you are able 
to heal and destroy every attack and weapon of war that the enemy has brought to the body. Thank you, Father. We are healed. Ah, as we eat it, oh God, it is supernatural. As we eat it, oh God, it is the meal that heals. I decree and I declare healing, healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. It is done. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, it said, take it, ye, all of it. Verse 25 says, After the same manner also he took the cup. He took the cup. And when he has supped, saying, This is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. He said, as often as ye drink it, do it in my remembrance. Remember what? Remember that which Jesus did for you and I at the cross of Calvary. How he was whipped, how 39 lashes tore his back, how a spear was thrust into his side, and blood and water came out. Woo! His blood was emptied. He gave his life. And I believe that blood enter you and I, that we may have life and have it in abundance. He prayed, Lord, we thank you. This is your blood which was shared at the cross of Calvary. You said, do this in remembrance of me. And that is you, not me, but you. So everlasting Father, as we hold this blood on this cup, and as we drink, it shall be healing to our navels. It shall be healing to our bodies. It shall be healing to our griefs. It shall be healing. Ah, In the name of Jesus, I hold this cup, O oh God, before you. Transfuse, you transmit everything that we need to heal our bodies from our head to the soles of our feet. Shakatarabasanderedebo. We decree and declare as we drink this blood, which is a mystery, that healing will take place. Every attack of the enemy, everything that we stand for, we decree and declare that it will work for you and I. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stand for your healing. We stand for your power. We, we stand for your deliverance. We stand, oh God, for doing everything in our, for our lives. And we thank you, everlasting Father. It shall be healing to our navels. I decree and I declare it so. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. I want you to be in the mood of prayer. As you drink his blood, 
The word of God says, life is in the blood. As you drink his blood to your body, I want you to begin to receive the healing from his throne into your body. If you were not breathing well, I decree and I declare upon you, begin to breathe well now. Breathe in and out. Into your nose and breathe out through your mouth. I declare and declare Create upon you free access of the power of God into you now. From your head to the soles of your feet. I decree the healing virtue of God upon you. You have stomach before. I tell you, drink his blood. The stomach pain is gone. Whatever the doctors have told you, I believe the report of the Lord. The doctors are doing their bit. Oh, yes, I'm not against doctors. They are doing their bit. They even confess that we treat, but God does the healing. Healing comes from God. I decree the healing power of God upon your head, upon your eyes, upon your nose, upon your stomach, upon everywhere that you have pain. For this reason, Jesus went to the cross. Be healed right now. Back pain, back pain be healed. Leg pain be healed. Stomach pain be healed. Pancreas be healed. Kidney be healed. Lungs be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. I decree and I declare it so. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are healed. You are set free. Hallelujah. Let's give thanks unto him because of this opportunity that has come for us. Thank you, glorious God. Clap your hands, all ye people, and begin to give thanks unto your God, the God that is able to do exceeding our minds. Thank you, Father, for your touch and for your healing. In the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. If you have your oil there, I want you to open it. Pour a little bit of it into a jar or a cup or whatever container that you have. Lord, I leave this oil before you. Ha! You say, is there any sick amongst you? That's what James told us. Is there any sick amongst you? Let them call on the elders. We are the elders. We are the elders. Let them pray and anoint you with oil. Lord, I decree your power on every bottle, on every jar, on every container that they are holding now in their homes, including this. I ask, oh God, that you transfuse your blood that knows no disease into this oil. Ah. That as we anoint ourselves, oh God, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I decree and I declare it. When David was anointed, he became another person. Ah, 
Lord, as they anoint themselves, oh God, I, I ask that they become another person, another person of you, another person to speak about you, another person to know that you have healed them, another person to turn their testimony for good. That is what I ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand on it and anoint yourself. I anoint my life, I anoint myself. I anoint myself, oh God, for healing. I anoint myself, oh God, that you turn me to another person, another positive person, not negative person, but positive, to see every good and perfect gift in that which you have given unto us. Thank you, Father, for your touch. Your touch of healing to this head. Mm. And as many as have anointed their head, I decree and I declare a touch of healing, a touch of deliverance, a touch of hope, a touch of healing in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you once again for being with us in this meal that heals. Until next month, I ask the, the God of heaven, the ancient of days, to keep you intact and safe. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord bless and increase you and increase your home. In Jesus' name, amen.